now. Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome to another episode of Nostalgia Mall Christmas. And we're going to be doing um, another Let's Play. I know um, you guys are so thrilled about this. <laughs> but this is a, a Let's Play of a game that I've been meaning to show on this channel for many, many years. Um, it's another game from my childhood. Now, you may be familiar with a little game known as The Incredible Machine. One of the greatest games of all times, if you ask me. Icon for it is right there. <laughs> I um, I adored that game growing up and it had such good mechanics, such good music, such good gameplay, had good everything. Everything about it was great. <laughs> and this was The Incredible Machine 3, by the way. Um, I also had another version of The Incredible Machine that um, surprisingly came out before The Incredible Machine 3, but was incredible in its own way, and I loved it as well. A little game called The Incredible Tune Machine, released by Sierra in 1994. Now this game, um, how do I describe it? It's just like The Incredible Machine has the same mechanics and everything, whole has the same uh, basis and everything. It's a uh, you make Rube Goldberg devices to complete puzzles with, except this one is extremely cartoony and doesn't take itself seriously at all. So, let's go ahead and load it up here on the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. There we go. The Incredible Tune Machine. Wow, his voice must have dropped. <laughs> You. Gee, Al, do you really gotta? Yes, Sydney. I'm afraid so. So basically, it's Tom and Jerry. <laughs> And apparently there's some kind of password system you can use, but in the 20 years or so I've played this, I've never really used it. So just like the original Incredible Machine game that we all know and love, you get several modes. You get puzzle play, head-to-head, -head, and home tunes where you can create your own puzzles. For the sake of the video, we're going to go straight to the puzzle solving. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Hiya, gang. Welcome to me and Al's big screen debut. Oh, joy. Oh, glee. Oh, genuine heartfelt elation. Now, all you've got to do to solve the puzzle is smack the bottom of all the message machines to open the curtains. So, obviously, we're going to have to start off with the tutorial puzzles because I've never played this game on this particular Windows install. <laughs> And just like the Incredible Machine, um, you just have to take the parts in the parts bin and move them over to where they need to be. And you can run it. It's weird seeing um, the year 2018 being mentioned on this game. <laughs> 
Eunice elephant in a natural habitat. The sandwich My actually looks good. Down with excitement. Feed Eunice and her sister each a peanut, if you would. <laughs> and there is CD audio in this game. But the music is not nearly as good as um, regular Incredible Machine. <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> About helping yours truly to sneak into the tunnel on the left, so as I can visit my buddy Mario Mole. This is one of my favorite um, puzzle pieces in the game. Um, you can take these little tunnels and you can make the characters go wherever you want them. Um, I guess that's the best way to describe it. And I do realize my Let's Play videos rarely get a lot of views, but, you know, I do enjoy doing them, even though I'm really not the best at doing these like a lot of people are. As you can see right there, <laughs> I've been playing this for 20 years, what am I doing? Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Next one. I'm afraid it's necessary that we roast Sydney Mouse to a squealing yellow crisp. Big Dragon has gleefully offered to help. <laughs> and this game um, is compatible with Windows 3.1, Windows 9X. Um, I haven't tried it on anything like Windows XP. Um, I guess it would work. I think I got this game out of a catalog or a website back in like 1997. I didn't get it at an actual store. Sheeshes, would you look at this? There's a big plate of fish chow just waiting for Al, but he's too scared to jump. <laughs> How's about helping him out? Come to think of it, the um, actual Incredible Machine, Incredible Machine 3, that is, didn't come from a store either. Um, first time I ever played it was um, in a uh, AOL demo back in the summer of 1996, and I fell in love with it right then and there, to the point where um, my dad bought me my own full copy of it, and I remember it. It being delivered by UPS one late evening while I was having a personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut in September of 1996. How fortunate. A catapult. The Let's same Pizza Hut I did a video of earlier this year that's now boulder at Sydney Mouse. <laughs> Shall we? All right. We've got to eradicate the mouse with a uh, boulder. Rather disgusting. <laughs> Okie dokas, gang. Time to conk the kitty. See if you can slide the anvil down the chutes and smack Al on the noggin. So yeah, this game is full of um, cartoon violence, um, fun for the whole family. And I didn't do that right, did I? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's Tom and Jerry. 
more or less. Oh, I like this one. Phew. Oh, yumskies. My favorite cheese. Hey, help me chow down without getting mangulated by Al. <laughs> So basically, we um, have to use this magnifying glass. <laughs> and um, the original Incredible Machine, the magnifying glass was just used to um, set things on fire. But in this version, it does, it, it scares the crap out of a cat. <laughs> Always found that overly amusing. I do believe I'm experiencing the immediate need for a generous helping of raw fish. Don't we all? You know, I could really go for a big old banana. Use the electoram to separate Sydney and I so we might quell our raging appetites. All right. Now, um, I do recall, um, when I was first playing this game back in the day, um, even though I didn't really care for the music in this game, for some reason I did like this one, and I don't know why. <laughs> okay, I had that turned the wrong way. There we go. I just always love puzzle solving for some reason. <laughs> A nifty little gag. See if you can make both counters count down to zero. Observe Eunice and her companion in the upper right corner for clues. Which one is Eunice and which one's the companion? They never said. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Guess it goes like this. It's been a while since I played this game, by the way. <laughs> like that. Ow, ow. There we go. I was just completely guessing on that. Hey, you shop shooters. <laughs> See if you can program the caddy pulp to shoot five rocks. Oh, jeepers. Won't that be a lark? Your goal is to make the counter count down to zero. Shame they never made any more games with um, Sid and Al. I think this was the only one they had. Well, correction, there was a game before this one actually called Sid and Al's Incredible Tunes. I've never played it, for, but from my understanding, it's pretty much the exact same game, but running under DOS. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta. I like that sound. <laughs> I'm real good at this game. Uh-oh. Somebody's trying to blow up the alley cat. Hey, see if you can vacuum up all the bombs before my old pal Al gets got splatulated. You know, just out of morbid curiosity, I wonder what will happen if we don't do anything at all. Death and destruction. So, let's save this poor little kitty cat. Oh, the succulent aroma of dead fish. Would you be so kind as to help me pork out on the fish located on yonder conveyor belt? Okay, um... I believe we gotta do, uh... This... I guess. <laughs> Ooh, he's eating a raw fish. What is he, Rocky?
Oh joy, electronic gadgets. Will the thrills... Well, that's what this channel is made of, electronic Take gadgets. Take a close gander to see how Alley Cat gets his fish dinner. Then use an electric switch and hair dryer to feed Sydney a fattening chunk of cheese. By the way, I normally do these Let's Plays with video capture, but my uh, male-to-female VGA cable that's necessary for that setup has gone bad, and I've, and I've been procrastinating to buying a new one. <laughs> So yeah, that's on my uh, list of things to do. Anyway, how's this thing go? Okay, obviously not like that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's movable. Got it. <laughs> you know what? It'd sure be swell if Al had something to chew on besides uh, yours truly. <laughs> so how's about using a tunnel to help him get to the bubble gum? Last Christmas, um, we had family down here, and my uh, eight-year-old cousin um, who's really into vintage stuff from before he was even thought of um, got to play the um, Incredible Machine 3 on this very computer right here and he absolutely loved it and it just shows you um, how timeless this stuff really is <laughs> I just love cartoon humor. How charming. Sydney is drooling all over his pudgy yellow belly. Kindly feed him the top hunk of cheese before he gets slobber on my tail. Um, some people are into that kind of thing. Anyway, um, I believe it goes like that. There we go. Legend has it that he's bouncing still to this day. Oh, yes, the Thumpalator. One of my favorite kitty toys. Why not use it to smack Sid Mouse off the stump into a squealing, terrified plummet of doom? <laughs> See you later, Thumpulator. Alright. Simply have to do this. Nuts, would you look at them humongous boulders there, huh? Would you be so kind as to help Sydney and I remove both rocks from the screen, despite my rather delicate back condition? <laughs> I kind of like this song. Sounds like a late night talk show in the early 90s. I wouldn't try that in real life, kids. Anyway, we can give this a try. Zoom tight. Wow, no intro. <laughs> okay, just gotta place this there. By the way, um, I'll show this to you later, but there's something really disturbing you can do with these scissors in this game. <laughs> I'll save that for later. Shh, 
Yeah, time for Alley Cat. Use the timer to knock him down the candy slide there so he can munch out on the mackerel. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, the timer is an electric gadget, yeah? So you gotta plug it into an outlet. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. You want me to kill a cat? I do not condone the art of killing cats, by the way. Oh, this one's a regular riot! I fail to grasp Sydney's concept of fun. I want you should yank open the trapdoors so me and Alley Boy can both take a tumble. Alrighty. Uh, these pulleys can be a little confusing, but... like that. Help me escape from Al. <laughs> and watch what happens when El Lado tries to get me. Oh joy, more pain and humiliation. Now this one's a fun one. Just place this rug right here. <laughs> Notice how the mouse can go right over it, but he can't. <laughs> Ooh, this one's a cock -a doodle doozy. What'd you call me? If you can get Hildy God in there to pop Al on a bean with an egg. Oh boy, more raw eggs. Well, well. It appears the chow man has finally arrived with my dinner. Help him feed me a fish before I collapse from malnutrition. <laughs> okay, so what we gotta do here? Oh yeah. Simple stuff. Just place it here. Or not. <laughs> Still recovering from my cold, by the way. Get a bang out of this one, partner. See if you can plug Al with a pistol. Uh, just a thought, but shoot Sydney as well, if you don't mind. Thus helping me express my uncontrollable feline rage. Wow, this is getting kind of dark. But I'll go along. I'm not sure where the music went. <laughs> And I'm not sure why we needed that thing there. <laughs> oh, I like oh, this I'm one. I'm experiencing a great deal of fear. And of course, an empty tummy. Oh, yeah. Help me and Al get out of this log cabin before we both go nutskies. Yeah, so basically, we get to blow up a log cabin. Now, oh, that's the Christmas spirit. Okay, we'll just place the bomb here. Now this is funny right here. <laughs> Perhaps you were unaware. Hildegard Hen is a programmable chicken. Why not? Yeah, chickens seem to be, to be able to do that. On Sydney's head, he'll make an excellent mouse chop omelet. Gotta do that. OK. 
Okay, apparently we weren't supposed to do that. Okay, hit the mouse, I guess. <laughs> Wait, well, I better check and see what I was supposed to do again. Oh, two. Yeah, this is when they start to get a little on the complicated side, I believe. There you go, had to get it just right by the pixel there. Anyway, we're going to move on to one thing I want to show. The uh, the one where you can build your own. <laughs> and apparently um, we can edit that puzzle right there. But There we go. Now, I'm going to show you something from my past that I'm not too proud of. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. Um, I was very, very... Um, dark when it came to building these puzzles. I would take Sid, um, not Sid, um, Al, the uh, cat right here, and torture him in horrible, horrible ways. <laughs> For instance, um, I would do something like this. find it. And uh, you might, in a moment you'll see probably what I'm going for here. Oh, gosh. What is wrong with me? Yeah, I would do stuff like this. Boy, I was evil. And I guess I still am. <laughs> okay, let's make another one and torture that cat a little bit more. Remember those scissors from earlier? Well, let's get a pair of those. First, let's get the cat. Let's lure him over here. Okay, it doesn't work that way apparently. Okay, gotta do something a little bit more complicated than this. Let's go get a tunnel. Let's move down here. 
here. I see why I'm moving. By the way, I do not condone the violence of violence towards animals at all. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, it actually kills him. He actually dies. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I'm a horrible person. Yeah. I need to do some thinking. So, yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and end the video here. That was the Incredible Tune Machine. Uh, favorite from my childhood. Um, if you can somehow find a copy somewhere, highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of the original Incredible Machine games. It's very fun, very funny, and highly recommend it. So stay tuned for the next Nostalgia Mall Christmas episode. This is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The links to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.